Right, hi guys. Um, so firstly, where do you put the files um, that I've sent you over? Uh, so the first thing is to find the sports interactive folder. Now, um, yours should be in the My Documents part of your documents, whether you're on Mac or on um, on Windows. I, I'm on Windows, so if anyone's on Mac, um, it's probably worth watching a YouTube video. If things are slightly different, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, how this works on Mac, but certainly for Windows, you need to find your sports interactive folder. Mine is on a backup hard drive, but um, yours should be in your documents, and then there should be a sports interactive folder. When you find your sports interactive folder, that you then want to go into Football Manager 2022, and inside here, there may or may not be a range of folders. I mean, there certainly will be some, but whether they're the ones that you need or not you might have to create them so so the graphics is next so i've sent you over some graphics so in your graphics you might have other uh graphics packs that you've downloaded like kit textures kits uh logos for like teams like liverpool man united premier league teams um teams all over the world in fact and then uh you might have stadium packs trophies whatever you should also this so this is the place where you want to put the EFA logos. So inside here you have the big big logos and the small icons for every team in the EFA, and um, they are all mapping to the teams in game. So this config file here uses it, it takes these uh, numbers of the PNGs and maps them in game. Similarly. There's a small version as well for the smaller icons to show in the game and then um, the competitions as well. So the Guzm and the Pep. Once you have loaded in the um, the game files, the not the game files, the graphics files, my apologies, you might then need to do a further step. So if you're not seeing things when you load the game, you might need to reset here, so clear the cache and reset your cache settings. And then also um, you might want to reload the skin. Now there used to be a button somewhere uh, that said reload skin. However, ah, here we go. Reload, there's a tick box you need to tick down here. Reload skin when confirming preferences, changes in preferences. And you click that and then when you click confirm it'll reload your skin and then you should have all of the badges and all of the kits in there like so uh, and then you'll click confirm and it'll reload your skin and i'll just load up my test file just to show you how it should look when you get into the game so come in here type in the pep i've obviously not joined any teams and so you can look in the pack. This is in 2025, so I've simmed quite a few years into the future at this point. And you should be able to see here. So you've got the logo at the top, you've got the logos on the side, you've got all the clubs. 